Hello, Patrick Walchuk here. We're uh, at the end of August 2024, and as we always do, we're uh, breaking out the financials on a couple of buildings. This uh, particular building here is a triplex. Uh, we're calling it kind of the south end of uh, Ottawa, and we'll see what it's sold for and what those uh, financials mean. <clears throat> so this property here, to the best of my knowledge, was a legal triplex. It was not fire retrofit. It was listed for 858000 it sold for $840,000. The scheduled rental income on it was $53,000. The effective rental income after you deduct for 3% uh, for vacancy and bad debt was $51,000. Operating expense, uh, expenses on that, sorry, were uh, 12800 call it. Total operating expenses, that's when you add in 5% uh, for maintenance, 5% for management, gives us total operating expenses of $17,934. And you um, throw that into the mix and see what happens, and poof, it comes out with net operating income of $33,537. So what does that mean? Well, that gives us our cap rate. Cap rate of 4%. That's pretty good good to average kind of thing, uh, especially for that neighborhood uh, where, where it's in. It's a good rental neighborhood, by the way. Um, the operating expense ratio, I'd say that's quite nice. It's about 35%. Uh, you very seldom see it lower than 25, and it gets really ugly when you're looking at about 45. Uh, sold for 16 times the gross, 25 times the net. Um, that's sort of what you expect. You see a cap of four. Uh, now, number that I've been looking at the past number of years really is how much of a down payment is required before this property can cash flow positive. In this case here is 42% and we're kind of seeing that as being more of the norm compared to a couple of recent years where we're looking at 50%. So that's an average number, that's good. So the down payment, the purchaser 42% that gives, uh, well, it, it equates to $353,000 and based upon the mortgage, 4.7%, his annual debt service on that mortgage is $33,000 and so that gives him a small positive cash flow of $525 and of course the ROI on that is also in the positive range of 0.15%. So that's what happened to that property. Thanks for watching.